Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous videos on Conga CPQ, we have seen how can we price our product based on several ranges, cumulative ranges, right? Today, we are going to learn about another aspect which is bundle specific pricing. And now, bundle specific pricing, you might not know what it is, but we'll, we'll cover it as a part of agenda. Okay. So here is the agenda. Uh, first thing first, we'll gonna learn about what is bundle specific pricing then we'll see how to set up it. Then we'll see a use case, and then later we'll see uh, the configuration of that particular uh, bundle specific pricing. So what is bundle specific pricing? So bundle specific pricing refers to pricing options differently across different bundles. So if you have an ask to use the same product as an option product against multiple bundles, although the pricing information can vary per bundle, Right. So for those options, the pricing can vary. Okay. So in that case, we can define bundle specific pricing for that particular option across different bundles. Now let's see how to set up it. Okay. So bundle specific pricing for options can be set up using an object called product option price. So Conga itself provides an object, right, called product option prices, and it creates the records of product option prices for each option for each bundle okay we can manipulate the prices of the option product as follows so you have a bundle under that you have an option and these are the ways you can manipulate right so whatever price right now option is having we can override that price we can apply the markup on that price we can apply the discount on the option price we can mark the price of that option to be included in bundle right we can mark the quantity as read only right of particular option and we can mark the selling term of that particular product as read only the option okay now let's see the use case about it so ECMA corporation is selling products and related services to customers following are the products and services they offer when it is sold on its own okay so if they are selling cloud storage individually they are selling it as 20 dollar per user per month Again, premium support, they are selling at $50 per user per month. But now, these two products are bundled in a particular bundle. So let's say there is something called basic bundle. Right? It is a bundle product. And when these two options are sold underneath that basic bundle, cloud storage comes as $15 per user per month. Premium support package comes as $40 per user per month. But, and when it is being sold in advanced bundle, right, cloud storage becomes $10 per month per user and premier support becomes $30 per user per month. Okay. So this is the scenario. And now let's review the configuration. So I am on a product called cloud service, cloud storage, and I'll just click on this product console. This is the premier support. I'll again click on product console. And over here you can see it is twenty dollar per month, and over here it is fifty dollar. Okay? Now let me just add these two products to cart. So I'll go to standalone over here, and I'll add both the products in one go. And let's review the cart. Okay, so I'll just move to cart, and I can see it is twenty dollar and fifty dollar, and I'll set the selling term as twelve. Right now it's fraction prices, so I'll just set it to. 12 so that we can have correct net price which is 240 dollar 600 dollar because it's being sold for 12 months. okay straightforward uh 20 dollar per month 50 dollar per month now let's talk about our example that we took okay basic bundle so when it comes to basic bundle it should be 15 dollar cloud storage and premium support as 40 dollars so how can we set up that so we have already seen how bundles can be configured. So just look out for the video uh, on my channel for bundle configuration. Now, let me just show you where, where you can configure the bundle. So here is the bundle that we have already created. Right? And these two options are already being added. Okay. I'll just click back and I'll come and edit the price list item of bundle. Okay. So as soon as I land on the page, I'll see something over here called options, and this is what we call product option price. Okay, 
so when you add an option add any options to uh, the bundle and when you come to edit the price list item you can see those options available here and here there is an option so as per our scenario it should be 15 dollar per month and this should be 14 dollar per month so what i can do is i can provide price override or i can provide the discount as i see as i saw over here right so what i did what i made it 50 and made it price override i made it 40 dollar for premium support package and have done the price override. and i'll save that once you save that please make sure you run the criteria maintenance sometimes it happens like the price are not coming up so you can run the criteria maintenance for that particular update now if i go and click on add more product and go to bundle right and let me add basic bundle so basic bundle is 100 dollar itself surprising and over here you can see 20 and 50 dollar right okay but let's view the price first okay so i'll go to pricing i'll again make this 12 uh, it's a fraction wrong but uh, let me just correct it as of now and i'll just refresh it okay so previously it was having 20 dollar over here you can see when it's being sold in bundle basic bundle it is marked as 15 dollar and this one is 40 dollar instead of 50 right the same thing i did over here in advanced bundle if i go and edit the line you can see i have my uh, overridden it as 10 dollar and 30 dollars so when i go and add the advanced bundle right i can see my price are coming as per the configuration that i did Okay, so I'll just view the card and let me again make it $12 so that uh, the pricing don't come into fractions right? and I'll just say price it. Okay. So you can see $20 here when it's been sold on its own, $15 here and $10 per month per user over here. So if you come across any kind of scenario in which your options are marked as to be sold in bundle specific price you can utilize this as an example and you can configure the way we configured over here right so i hope you guys have liked this video uh, please like and share the content right and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed thank you very much